Kenya Commercial Bank are the undisputed queens of volleyball on the African continent after they won the 2022 Women African Volleyball Club Championships last night in Tunisia. <laughs> The two-time winners defeated record holders Alahli three sets to one in the final, a moment their technical director Paul Bitok described as big not only for Kenya but also East Africa. I think this is a turning point, it's a big win for us Kenya and also in East Africa uh, because we last won in 2005. So you can imagine nine years without the title in Kenya. Bitok revealed his side strategy against Alahli in the final. We knew that uh, if we don't put them under pressure, uh, it was going to be easy for them. So we strategize on which position are we going to use, especially on the attack. They have uh, tall players on a certain position, but they have shorter uh, players also on uh, different uh, positions. The former Kenyan international was offered the coaching job at KCB back in 2019 before turning it down and proposing the technical director role. He had something in mind. And I brought a project where I wanted to turn KCB as a professional club. Mm. And uh, to have a professional cl club, you must have a professional players. Mm. So uh, when they accepted the, the project, I brought in Edith Wisa, mm. uh, Masi Moim, and Sharon Chepchumba. Mm. So those are the first professional players which we brought them to, to KCB, mm. earning uh, more than $2,000 in a month. Just like any other sector, Bitok and KCB's plans were affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, when we wanted just to start uh, competing, we were affected by the COVID. Mm. So we had a very good team and a good players, but we didn't uh, compete this year. Mm. Last year, uh, we came back again to, <coughs> to the competition mm. and we struggled again because we didn't build the team. After recruiting, we didn't build the team, so we lost to Kenya persons in the National League. Mm -hmm. But this year, we knew that there is an African Club Championship. We prepared well. Bitok, who has also coached volleyball in Rwanda, she has a thing or two on what teams need to do if they are to compete favorably on the continent. A any, anyone can win. It depends on the people who prepared well, mm -hmm. who participate in different competition. Uh, like for example, you have Uganda and uh, these other countries, mm -hmm. they have less competition in their country. So mm -hmm. when you come to such competition which is very competitive, it is not easy for you to match them. Mm -hmm. Because the pressure which is uh, uh, under this kind of competition, uh, someone must have played many matches and special competition in their country. <laughs> Clive Chazay, CTV.